the executive chairman of Sahan Research. Matt Bryden joins us now from the Kenyan capital, Nairobi. Mr. Bryden, good to speak to you today on TRT World. So just give us uh, some insight, if you will, into how Al-Shabaab are able to continue carrying out such attacks in the capital of Mogadishu. Well, this is a very common uh, method of Al-Shabaab uh, attacks. We, we've seen the same tactics, techniques and procedures repeated time after time over the last couple of years. Uh, they detonate a large explosive to breach the perimeter of a hotel or a government facility. Uh, gunmen go inside, kill as many people as they can. In this case, it appears that then a second uh, vehicle was exploded to, to kill and maim first responders and security forces on the scene. Um, and then eventually the security uh, forces were able to, to end the siege. Uh, in the process, it, it, uh, the preliminary reports from hospitals suggest that we have somewhere between 15 and 20 people killed and up to 50 people uh, wounded. And what does this tell us about the security forces' effectiveness in fighting al-Shabaab in and around Somalia? I think it's very disturbing that uh, although um, there's a general sense of improved security in the capital Mogadishu and in some other parts of the country, that um, al-Shabaab is able to repeat almost exactly the same type of operation time after time. This operation took place uh, near Kilometer 4, which is one of the most heavily protected parts of the capital. The capital is the most heavily patrolled city in the country. And it means that al-Shabaab is not only able to deploy fighters, but to build uh, large explosives. And this was a really a, quite a massive explosion. Mm -hmm. um, and to move it in a vehicle past checkpoints to its target uh, with uh, no hindrance whatsoever. So I think it really does suggest that despite hundreds of millions of dollars of investment, uh, a new approach to rebuilding the Somali security forces is required. Uh, and just finally then, Matt, what uh, role do the African Union have in the fight against al-Shabaab across the, uh, the Horn of Africa there? Well, the African Union is really the, is spearheading the, the war against al-Shabaab. Uh, they are not responsible for the sort of day-to-day -day protection of facilities in the capital. Um, there are a few cities remaining under al-Shabaab control that the AU is expected to take in the near future. But after that, it will become a Somali fight. And I think that's why the focus on, on rethinking the approach to building Somali security forces is going to become critical in the coming months. OK, well, uh, Matt Bryden there from the Sahan Research Group in Nairobi. Thanks for joining us, TRT World.